BuzzFeed, let's be honest, you might be the worst thing in the world. Well, what about ISIS or ISIL or the IS or the Islamic State? Hey, at least they stand for something. As bad sh fed up crazy as they are. What do you stand for, BuzzFeed? You're in the business of wasting people's time and making them more stupid. And business is booming. We did record numbers last quarter. I mean, through the roof. 29 things only girls shorter than 5 foot 3 will understand. Hate to burst your journalistic bubble, but I understand all 29 too, and I'm a guy who's 6'1". I also know how photosynthesis works, and am neither a plant nor the sun. So if I were you, I'd brush up on the definition of the word understand. Maybe not use the big words. She's literally scouring the internet, stealing photos from different sources, compiling those into a list, writing one stupid sentence about each, and then posting that. Yeah, I used to do that too. It was called stealing for my book report. Certainly didn't make money or career out of it. Career. <laughs> and that, my five foot three little friend, is just what you wasted two minutes of your life reading. But mission accomplished, because her one and only aim was to get your click. And click you did. BuzzFeed generates their ad revenue through native advertising, so when you go to their site, you're not bombarded with ads that are blasted all over the page. Everything looks clean and true to form, and if all goes according to plan, you'll eventually click on an ad that's disguised as another list, quiz, or identifier. Well, gee. <laughs> I'll keep reading. But my issue with BuzzFeed isn't that they're promoting ignorance or investing in wasted time. That's 98% of the internet. My issue is their occasional fake outrage, which isn't outrage at all. It's just another carefully crafted tactic to get you to click on the article. You'll never believe what Trevor Noah said. You mean a comedian said on Twitter? Wow. BuzzFeed, you have zero journalistic integrity or intention, so stop trying to fake stand for something because it's a hot topic in the news. Al Jazeera, that's a legitimate news source, one of the few remaining. You know what you'll never see on their site? 12 Disney princesses as lukewarm bowls of water. That's a real pose. I wish I made that up. People clicked on that. A lot of people. I guess I clicked on that to get the picture. BuzzFeed, it's adorable that you occasionally try to break news stories. Let me put this in terms I think you can understand clearly. Here's 15 reasons why you'll never, ever be a legitimate news source. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stick to what you know, which is making the world a dumber place and capitalizing on its drastically increasing attention deficit disorder and distracting it from real world issues, all the while staying true to form as an evil billion dollar conglomerate. Brought to you by Hardee's. If this video isn't on the front page of BuzzFeed by the end of the day, I failed. Here's 29 reasons why you should follow me on social. Here's 39 reasons why you shouldn't. Check out this series I did with GQ. The average wedding in the United States costs $25,000. 25,000 for one day. That's over $1,000 an hour. That's insane.